what is up YouTube so as many of you saw in my last video about the Supra and the Hellcat I got a lot of good comments a lot of good DMs and a lot of people hating like oh I subscribed because of your Hellcat and now I'm gonna leave like I really don't care I'm not here to please everyone like I said this is all for me for future purposes I want to see like how far I've come and all that but I just got some new car parts for the Supra actually and I ordered suspension off this guy on Facebook because he gave me a good deal and it's supposed to start Friday, and then I ordered this, but I don't know which is which, because I sent him a picture of my tracking number, and the tracking number was for this, and he said that's for the Springs. So I'm kind of worried now. I messaged him. He said he'll get back to me later today. Just kind of sucks because I have everything scheduled for Saturday. This I can install my own. This is nothing crazy. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and open it and show it to you guys real quick. I went ahead and opened up a little bit of it so it would be easier. <clears throat> I'm not trying to get my address. Oh, shoot. Right, I'm gonna go ahead and finish opening this up because this is kind of hard to open. Oh wait, no, I got it. Let's see. Yeah, this is all look, <clears throat> look like my suspension at all. It has to be the my strut bar that I ordered. They couldn't have put any more paper. Jeez. Yeah, it's definitely my strut bar. All right, sick. So, go ahead and take this out. Put it on the bed. Make sure there's nothing else. Nope. Alright, so I'll probably either be installing this today or when the springs come in for the Supra, doing it all at once. Um, I'm going to keep this vlog. I recorded this right now, but um, I'm going to message him back and ask him for, you know, like ETA estimated time arrival because I need to know. Because if not, I had to change a lot of messages and appointments with people that I've already had to install the springs. Because in order to install them on this car, apparently you have to remove some part of the trunk. And I'm not doing that myself. But we'll see right now. I'm going to go ahead and message him. Hope for the best. Alright, so today I'm installing the strut bar for the car with my friend, uh, Freddy with the Shelby. I have the stuff in the back of my car, but right now I have to go do some errands real quick. And then I'll be doing it. And maybe, maybe we might be racing a stock 2020 GT A10 versus my stock Supra. Just has a cat delete. No tune, so I mean he still has a hundred more horsepower than me, but I am I am a lot lighter. So we'll see how that goes. I mean, um, if we have time, we'll do it. We want to do like in a safe spot or like in an open road. Like I know a couple. I mean the freeways are empty right now because of the whole coronavirus. But we'll see how all this goes. Right now I'm gonna go do my errands and I'll pick up the vlog when I'm done with everything. So one of my friends just watched a YouTube video on how to install that one part, the strut bar, and I need to go buy this right here. So I gotta go to Home Depot right now. Hopefully I can find this tool. It's apparently cheap. I don't know. I've never seen this So yeah, we'll see how that goes Dang the slowest Shelby in the IE just pulled up <sighs> Look at that snack over there. Look at that I don't know if you guys have seen his new look, but he's running welds in the back now So he's got a fatter tire smaller wheel This thing looks so freaking good Imagine these on the Supra. <laughs> so he's faster than me now because now I have a speed in line six, but I'll take him on the corners. That's for sure. All right, so heading out to the nearest Home Depot, hopefully to get lucky with that part because I'm pretty sure a majority of the stuff is sold out. So we couldn't find the exact tool, so we bought this. It has all the wrenches and all that, so we're good. So it, one bolt goes right here, the other one right there, and then the strut right here, and then right there. So it's supposed to give the car better performance on turns and all that, so I want to kind of test it. Because I know it turns good, but this should give it more turnability and all that. And then my lowering kit arrives hopefully next week, and then I ordered something else for the car. Which I don't know when it arrive, but yeah, we'll see how long it takes. I'm not really a big fan of this color. Um, I do want to get it powder coated in the future to match. Well, maybe this might be the color of a wrap I might do. Mm, no, actually, no. So I might powder coat these um, black, actually, or a red to match something. And then I'm ordering this, hopefully, all carbon fiber soon. And then I'm ordering my spoiler next week. So, yeah, everything should start looking really good. And then the front lip's like $1,000, so I'm going to hold off on that for a bit. See how everything goes. All right, so we got Venom and Bacon helping me over here. He says it's, e it's easy, right? Easy to install? Yeah, just testing out the fitment. It's All right. I don't like the color. I told I, I was saying I want to powder coat it black. 
Yeah. It's not expensive either, huh? No, this is chrome, which is weird. Ew. Yeah, these are blue, but this is chrome. <laughs> what the hell? I'm filming over here, please. Really? Oh shit. Hell yeah. So, Freddy has a special talent. He actually reads Japanese. See, that torques down to two pounds. Another two pounds. Is it really? Or are you just saying that? I don't know. Oh, I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is very informative. I speak Chinese. Well, not Wait, this is Korean. See the smiley faces? <laughs> the smiles per gallon. <laughs> So you sit right there, are you sure it would look good? What? Right here? Why don't you clean it first? Mm. I don't know, I think so. <laughs> you got boobless. Why don't you freaking clean it? I don't care. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. It's a stupid sticker. It says, it's Progressive great. Equipment. You can see it on You're gonna film for me? Yeah. Alright. It's gonna cost you. Oh, I don't have money right now. It's gonna cost Freddy. This is some fancy stuff. So I guess to install this, you got to go underneath the, the tire or yeah, above the tire. You did? Yeah. Oh shit! Yeah, Don't want to lose that. <laughs> this is why don't lower it. Oh, just, I know, dude. That would have been hard. Been Fudge. Because then we have to take it all apart, huh? Yeah. Uh-uh. Oh, oh, that's annoying. Jeez, good thing I waited. So I don't want to zoom in because then it will look funny like if I zoom in like right there. So I'm going to leave it all zoomed out so you guys can see everything we're doing. It's okay. Oh, shit. You're good. You're good. <sighs> Hopefully my camera doesn't fuck this. I cried. I did not know that was where my uh, windshield wiper fluid was. Where? The hell? What the hell? To go Wait, slick. so what did you rip on you? Oh, I tell you, huh? Oh. So this rip right here. Right here. This hose. That hose. And then on there, it was all like white. Really? And it, yeah, like this white. All this. But imagine worse. And then I took it to them. They're like, yeah, it's not normal. So they said that this little hose was uh, a normal wear and tear, apparently. But Riverside was charging you $1,000, which is stupid. It's going to probably be the fountain one. I'm just gonna go ahead and record for you guys actually. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, I didn't, I didn't show him this, but I had to bring back the license plate frame. Brazzers! Don't like how it sticks out though, so I'm gonna order a new one. Damn. Yeah, so the new part I was telling you guys I ordered, it's actually a uh, arrow kit, so it's a uh, diffuser, comes out more, more angle, so it's gonna look really good when I lower it. And then hopefully when I get some wheels and wrap, and it should look really, really game, game changer right there. Just a little bit. Really? Yeah, just a little bit though, not Alright. Do you have the right wrench ready or no? Do you want me to hold it from up here? Hold on, I'm trying to just get it threaded. I did. I feel like this one's more harder. Oh, yeah, I got it. You got it? 
That's sick. Damn. This is the finished look. Everything's on there pretty good. Tightened down. Looks good in my opinion. I just want to powder coat this like a black or a blue. Same color to match it. Alright guys, so that's the end of the vlog. Um, I, I was going to take it for a drive, but I'm running late on a dinner with my friends and all that. We're going to go eat some like good food. Um, I'll be doing another video with my GoPro. Driving it around, hopefully like taking it through like the mountains and all that. We'll see if I can find a spot. Let me know what you guys want to see on my next video. Make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what you guys want to see for the Supra.